Hey guys, it's Jen. Hope you're all doing good on this fine Thursday. Uh, I am here with uh, a video for Thrifty Connects and Thrifty Thursday. So I did do a bit of shopping this week. Uh, I had a few places I had to go. So, you know, you got to look and see what else is there you might need, right? Um, but first, I have something really cool to share with you. Uh, so my husband finally, after years of saying he wanted one, he finally got himself a 3D printer. He, it's funny because like technology is his thing, but yet he only got a 3D printer now because he hates spending money on himself. So anyway, long story short, <clears throat> excuse me, he did get one and he's been printing me cool things. This is one of the first things he printed. This is a mannequin echo or lucky cat, money cat. Um, cause I love mannequin echo. I collect them actually. And check out this, this is a fully articulated chameleon. And this, the really cool thing about this, about him, look how cute he is. The really cool thing is this all printed at once, like this. It wasn't, it didn't print in pieces and you had to put it together like a puzzle. It printed like this. Isn't that so cool? Totally blows my mind. I totally love them. I love chameleons too. You may have noticed, actually, yeah, in my scavenger hunt glue book, I have pages for both uh, Lucky Cats and a page for Chameleons. All right. So next thing he printed me, stencils. Guys, you can go online and there's like communities of um, like 3D people that 3D print and they'll share files that they've made. So there are stencils out there. This one's a little thicker, a little harder. And this one's really flexible. So he printed me a couple stencils. Now I have a big list of ones I want. So this is this one. That's how well that works. And I haven't tested this one out yet, but I am so stoked about this. I just happen to have my, uh, this specific ink pad here. I think, what is it called? Blue Mermaid Lagoon, that's it. Ooh, isn't that cool? So cool. So yeah, I'm really excited to uh, to have him print me some more uh, stencils. And the thing is, the first time I went to college, I have two college diplomas. The first college diploma I got was actually in, it was called Multimedia Design and marketing and um half of my course was like 3d well not half but a lot of my course was 3d animation so this was back in like the late 90s i wanted to make toy story so yeah anyway i do have knowledge of 3d modeling i just have to kind of get back into it so once i do i'll be able to make some really cool things like make our own files and things yeah so all right let's carry on so i did go to home sense and at HomeSense, I got this. This is not very thrifty, even though it's, well, it says compare at $9. It was supposed to be $9. It was $6. I took, I still consider that to be a bit much for a paper pad. And normally I wouldn't have bought it, but I was like, you know what? I didn't really buy much else there. So I was like, ah, I'll treat myself. It's not like I'm spending, you know, a great big amount. And I just waited it to open it. I mean, it's so stinking cute, right? Oh, oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was a notepad. That's really cool that it's down there. I wasn't sure if it was notepad or post-its. They are notes. I kind of like that better. I got to say, I'm glad they're notes. Isn't that really cute? So yeah, that's my non-thrifty share for Thrifty Thursday. Um, now I also got these. I am in the search lately for neon. I love neon. So I saw these and I was like, yes, because they were only $5. So <clears throat> these are uh, U brands. It's been my experience that um, gel pens that aren't Sakura Jelly Roll or um, uh, Uni makes uh, Signios. Those work pretty well too. But I am I am I am totally a diehard fan of Sakura brand. I find they're really the only gel pens that write smoothly. And all the other gel pens, including these, kind of remind me of the ones that you could get at Costco way back when in big kits. And those always like skip so bad. These skip really bad. 
like I had a hard time even getting like some of these to like I had to go over the word like a few times so yeah I mean I don't really care because it was only five dollars and you know I'll still use them to add color here and there but would not recommend so there's my little review <laughs> would not recommend so also at home sense I got this if you're ever at home sense check out their stationery section like like gift wrap and bags and cards that's where I buy all my cards now because their cards are like three or four dollars where you know you go to like a card store or go anywhere else Hallmark or whatever and cards are like fifteen dollars now it's it's ridiculous um so yeah I got this gift bag because okay the stinking giraffe and then look at this so what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna cut this out leave this attached and make like a little chunky journal because I need I need a journal just for like everyday stuff I kind of have journals then they're each for something like I have my writing journal and then I have my uh <clears throat> like I have different um like art journal and things like that so yeah so that bag was $2.99 <clears throat> then I also got a Martha Stewart heavyweight gift wrap for $3.99 how much is on this 30 square feet so 2.78 meters 25 feet by 4 yards that's that's quite a lot for a roll of gift wrap now it's textured I don't know if you can see there's like little lines maybe you can see it better on the back but this pattern it just made me think of like I don't know it's almost like a you know vintage Victorian-y kind of fabric or wallpaper but in like fun spring colors I love it uh my only critique would be it says it's heavy weight I call this maybe a medium weight I've definitely had better gift wrap I mean I've had way worse but I've had better but for four dollars really but yeah look at that it's so beautiful all the little tiny flowers and details so yeah like I said um I said home sense sorry for you Americans uh, you guys don't have home sense um but it's owned uh home sense is, is um owned by TJ Maxx so check like your TJ Maxx and I don't know does TJ, TJ Maxx carry other things like gift wrap and stuff or do they just carry clothes because you guys also have I think Marshalls do you have winners too anyway yeah keep an eye out there and definitely check their stationery section whenever you go there like not just the stationery stationery where books are but like also the um like the gift wrap section definitely all right so speaking of gift wrap I also went to a little thrift shop <clears throat> that's actually still you know super reasonably priced um and this thrift shop actually used to be directly across the street from my house so that used to be awesome I could just walk across the street and go buy some stuff um but now they've moved to another area of town so I only go like I hadn't been there for actually like a few years and I just started going again not long ago um yeah so I went in and like these packages of gift wrap are only 50 cents each so I got this one this one's beautiful it's like a shiny this made me think of like the 90s it's like watercolor flowers and then like gold gold background to me this says 90s <clears throat> this one I wasn't sure about because I was like meh I don't know if I really super like it but it's kind of like um it's a little bit like hazy looking kind of thing and I really like the peach roses so oh I love that they sell their gift wrap individually because unlike Value Village when you go to buy gift wrap there it's in a bag and yeah it might all be vintage but you end up with a whole lot of like a lot of the time you end up with like a lot of wedding and baby I have zero use for wedding or baby wrapping paper so yeah it was really nice to be able to go through and actually pick out ones I wanted so then this one um this says like 1980s country to me definitely cute this one I love isn't that beautiful and it's apparently holly hobby so I don't know I don't there's nothing holly hobby about it and I cut the bottom open to look inside and yeah neither sheet of gift wrap has I thought maybe like the second sheet would be holly hobby or something but nope apparently this is just like a go with paper to the holly hobby line and then this one I love this one look at this look at that 
pansies and a little hummingbird. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just imagine that would be like a beautiful journal, like journaling card. And there's different ones too. Like him, he's kind of in the flowers. This one doesn't have a hummingbird. Very, very cute. And then last but not least, this is technically wedding, but it didn't say wedding on it. So I was like, you know what? I love these little, these little rose bunches. So yeah, I picked those up. <clears throat> then... I also got, I think these are all, I think everything I got is from the same thrift shop. Because I was going to go to another thrift shop, but they were doing road work and stuff. So anyway, yeah, I detoured and blah, blah, blah. So I got hand crocheted little lace table runner, I guess. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And it's crocheted cotton, so it'll take dye well. Your coffee dye. And I also got this one, which I thought was kind of neat. A very neat shape. And I know that's not it. I know I got some more here. Here we go. And I got this one. A wee little one. Cute. And then I got this one, which is not crocheted, but still really cute, I thought. Very, very cute. So got those. Be great for junk journaling. I also got um, a package of this. I think those were... 50 cents each. Um, I also get a package of crepe streamers, 50 cents for the two rolls in this like cool champagne color. I thought this would work really well for like vintage items. They had other colors there, but I was kind of like, meh. It was like red and blue and things like that. I, I wasn't feeling that, but I definitely wanted the champagne one. So I got those. <clears throat> oh, and I found some vintagey craft supplies. Check this. Oh, I'm sure I had another one. Where'd it go? I got some paper ribbon and, oh, maybe that is it for the paper ribbon. Oh, I might, I think I didn't buy the other color because I didn't like it. So I got some like Dusty Rose, remember Dusty Rose, um, tool for a dollar, but there's still lots left on there. And then I got, this is that paper twist type ribbon. It's more like, yeah, it's like a raffia kind of thing. But I thought it was a really cute spring color. So yeah, I'll be using that for something. And that was only 50 cents. It's seeming like everything in the store is 50 cents, right? <laughs> All right, I'm putting that back in. I got for 50 cents, this little photo album. Isn't that cute? It's very vintage -y, very 80s, or that says 80s to me anyway. And it's just, yeah, a little photo album. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. like. I'll put, you know, tuck things into it, maybe ephemera or something, or maybe even take that out and just use the cover as a journal cover. I'm not sure. Then I got uh, two rolls of ribbon. So it's like the crunchy, like satin or whatever. So I got like this beautiful, beautiful, like steely gray. It's almost got like a purplish tinge to it, I think, maybe. I still can't decide if it does or not. In the store, it definitely looked purplish. And then I was looking at it this morning and like daylight, daylight, and it looked like no purple, but now it kind of looks purplish again. I don't know. Um, and then I got this like off-white. And they were, I think a dollar. No, this was $2. And this one was a dollar. And I got glue stick. <laughs> 75 cents for Nelver's glue stick. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm just going to drop these back in this bag. And I have another bag. So what's in here? Oh, I got a little bit. It's not a whole lot of this little cute lace, but I mean, it was only 50 cents. So yeah. And I got this cool card, cardboard card for Bobbin, I guess. And then I got some fabric. I got this for a dollar. Oh, I was gonna take, where'd I put my scissors? So I just had them. I was gonna cut this off. Scissors, where'd you go? Do you guys see where I put my scissors? I do not, oh wait, there they are, okay. <clears throat> so it's kind of neat. I like how they tie these on with just little strips of fabric. That's pretty cool. There, and I did untie a couple in the store just to have a look at them, but yeah, it's nice because you can tie them back up. <clears throat> so this one's kind of like, um, I don't know, I would call it like, like maybe like an outdoor upholstery fabric. It feels like it's kind of maybe coated, but I really, really like the pattern. 
I have no idea what I'll use that for. I don't know if I'll use it for junk journaling or not, but I really, really like the pattern. So I was like, and what did that say? Did that say a dollar? Yeah, that was a dollar, that one. And then I got this, 75 cents for a piece of upholstery fabric. Which I haven't even really looked at. I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, so it's like a vintage -y, like tapestry type fabric. Thought that was pretty cool. Nice and heavyweight. Then, last but not least from this store, I got for $2, a great big roll of, hopefully, what I hope is wool, because I rug hook, so hopefully it's wool. It feels pretty wool to me, but I haven't tested it, so yeah, but yeah, for a couple bucks, I was like, yeah, it's worth the risk for sure, especially if it's real wool, because um, it feels like there's quite a bit there. All right, so that's from there, the thrift shop. And then, last but not least, I went to my fabric store because I had to buy something for work. So uh, I got this as a remnant. It was $4 for 0.8 meters. So it's almost a uh, full meter. 0.8 meters would probably be like a yard-ish. Very close to a yard. So isn't that cute? It's like a little like kind of country little, you know, little floral, but I really like the colors. So that's cute, and that's just a cotton. And then I got, um, everything else I got was from their sale, like, uh, shelves. They have bolts of fabric that usually it's where they put, like, you know, if they have one or two, um, one or two meters left of a fabric, they'll stick it there or whatever, or out of season fabric or whatever. So I got this beautiful fabric. It's a sheer. I love that I can buy these things for junk journaling because as a sewer um I wouldn't buy this stuff I don't work with stuff like this as like when I uh for for work um I specialize in heavy duty things so I work with yeah heavy duty materials um so it's nice to be able to buy this I would not have the patience to sew this <laughs> it's nice to be able to buy it to uh to use in junk journaling but I think this will make something beautiful someday Then, guys, guys, this is so me. I wonder if my camera's gonna handle this. So this is super neon yellow. Like, I, I just, I can't even with this. I cannot even with this. And it's lace. Look at that. Floral, like, lace, with, like, mesh in the background. Oh, wait, maybe I'll get the right side. So it's, like, shiny embroidery, too. Like, isn't that so cool? So awesome. And I think I paid, most of these were, I think, $4 a meter. Um, I wasn't going to get a full meter. I was going to get like half a meter because, you know, like I'll, I'm sure I won't use a full meter. But with the discount stuff, the bargain bin stuff, they, uh, they require you have to get a full meter. So, okay, twist my arm. So they did have another color of the, uh, of the, the neon whatever, but it was, uh, what was it? It was like a neon green and it was super close to the yellow. So I was like, meh, meh. I left it there. I may get some next time I go back. Then I got this beautiful lace. Love this color, this coral. You know, I, I didn't even notice I had a scalloped edge. Look at that. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. Love it. And last but not least, this may be gaudy, but I love it. <laughs> so this... Um, I was thinking the pattern, what I would call it, is chintz, but upon searching chintz, chintz is actually not a pattern, it's the type, it's the fabric, like, itself, the finish. So, chintz is a super shiny fabric on the front and matte fabric on the back, so this is indeed chintz, but yeah, the pattern is, like, super gaudy floral. I think chintz is, um, has always been, um, super gaudy fabric kind of thing like um over the top you know busy fabric so I think this would still yeah still qualify as chintz but I think that will make a gorgeous gorgeous journal cover or I mean I could use you know cut pieces of it out I love it 
All right, so that's everything that I have. Yeah, that's everything that I got this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out these two hashtags, Thrifty Connects and Thrifty Thursday. Uh, everyone's been posting lots of really cool things. I've been enjoying watching people's videos. Uh, yeah, so take care. And if you uh, like the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Great. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.